Hello everyone. My name is Gemma Johanna, a student at Dakakani University, pursuing Master of Education, specifically educational management, leadership and management. Uh, today I would like to take you through English language, specifically word class or parts of speech. And by the end of this lesson, we're expecting to achieve the following objective. One is you should be uh, able to identify seven types of word class. Also, I have to define and identify the types of noun. And another objective is to mention examples of noun and make sentences from it. Now to start, let us get to know on the meaning of a grammar or what is meant by grammar or structure in English language. We say English language is composed of different grammatical elements that are put together to form a meaningful sentence. As a student and teachers, we learn about this structural element and the rules that govern its arrangement. The structural elements include the words, phrases, cross, and sentences. Here are the word classes, or sometimes they are called parts of speech. There are about nine word classes in English. Those are, we have nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, prepositions, conjunctions, articles, and interjections. But our concern today will be on nouns. Now, nouns, we say these are words used to name people, places, things, or animals. Now, generally, nouns means names of things. Nouns are grouped into six other groups, which are, one, we have the proper noun and the common noun. Two, countable and uncountable noun. Three, concrete and abstract noun. Proper nouns. These are names of specific places and people. Proper nouns specifies unique things or people. And we normally use capital letter in the first or at the initial letter of a name. For example, uh, the following are the examples of a proper noun. For instance, here we have the word, uh, the name Gemma. The first letter J has been capitalized. Two is Ben, B is capitalized. Ashura, Mbea, Dalaslam, Tyson, Victor, Nema, Dines, Mombasa, Kampala, Epo, Popo, Bryson, etc. These are examples of uh, proper nouns. Now, I pointed to note in this proper nouns do not accept the plural form by adding IES, S, O, E, S, since they are unique. Another type is the common noun. These are names given to common things or normal things of the same kind mostly are referred to as ordinary names. There is no uniqueness with the common nouns and we do not use capital letter or we do not capitalize the first letter of a name. For example, women, man, house, book, tree, etc. Now these are common. Now we point to note in here is that a common nouns accepts the plural form. That's the I, E, S, S, and E, S. For example, here I have tried to make some sentences. I have found girls in a class. Now we find the common noun girl has been pluralized 
by adding S that has been underlined over there. The second, Majuma has got many books in her bag. Now the now common noun book has been uh, pluralized by adding S. And the last example is Tanzania has got big cities like Dar es Salaam, Mwanza, and Mbea. Now the common noun city has been pluralized by adding I-E-S. Another type of noun, it is the countable noun. We say these are nouns which can be counted. The kind of nouns also, this kind of nouns accepts plural forms. For instance, we have book, it can be books when they are many, house, houses when they are many, fruit, fruits, door, doors, woman, women, man, men. Next is an uh, uncountable noun. These are names of, the, of things that cannot be counted. For instance, sand, water, sugar, milk, hair, star, oil. These are uncountable. The next type is the abstract nouns. These are names of things which cannot be seen, but rather they are just felt or are imaginary things. For example, we have the word, uh, the noun news or information. You can't see a news or you can't see an information, but you say have received an information. A device, angry, hatred, concept, love. You say I'm loved by someone, but you can't see love as it is by mere looking. For instance, uh, examples of the sentences, my mother showed all her love to me. She gave an advice to all of us. I have read a news about corona. Next type is the concrete noun. These are names of things which are visible, things that we can see, physically seen and tangible. You can touch them. For instance, chair, a phone, tree, a key, a padlock, a car, a plane. All these can be seen and you can touch them. May you please bring here that chair. This is an example of a sentence which uh, contains a concrete noun in it. Do not cut the trees. They are useful in conserving the environment. Trees is a, a tree is a concrete noun. Use that padlock to lock the door. Now, for today, we would like to end up here, but here it is a task that you have to do. As that, take it as a homework, then you will have to send your response via my email.